point, please. Play. Well, I think that was the best we we played pretty much uh, since Australia uh, in all the matches. I think it's pretty exciting to come out like this in the finals of a Grand Slam. But uh, I think, yeah, beating uh, Brian and Matek was definitely uh, a huge win uh, that day. And I, it was my second match in that day. So <laughs> I was like uh, grateful to have him on my side to, to pull me through that one. And today I was, um, I had a great night after last night. So <laughs> good night's sleep. And I was just ready to go um, all the way. I mean, it's, it's hard to really uh, say which one is the best one out of all of them, uh, but coming out and uh, playing like that on one of the most prestigious courts that we've grown up with and winning a title like that again for the second time in a Grand Slam without losing a set, um, that is really special. The way we, we play together, I think it's just uh, a great match. And uh, I mean, Leander is just a great person that I know, like I, I can always... Um, even like the last two weeks, uh, whether it's practice or off the court also, it's it's a great help. We practice together and we made each other better. And also, with, you know, when we practice uh, mixed doubles <laughs> here and there, that was pretty cool. And that keeps you going. The motivation is also so important that um, I think that's even off the court is more important that you, you get along than on the court. At least for me, that's how I am. <laughs> uh, to be able to play this game for so many years. Now it's my 26th year at Wimbledon and to um, play with two of the greatest female players of all time is just such a treat. The epi they epitomize what an athlete should be. They're both two, the two greatest female athletes on the planet that we've had in any sport. There are a few other athletes in different sports that we can talk about, but in our game of tennis, both Martina Navratilova and Martina Hingis are right at the top. But what I will talk about is the champions of life that they are. That is a very um, important similarity that they, that they have. Uh, Navratilova used to be a servant volleyer. Martina Hingis has got probably the best ground strokes and return of serves I've ever played with or seen. I still learn from her. Um, you talk about the way that Martina Navratilova is up and like quick and quick and everything's fast and quick. And Martina Hingis is just nice and easy and relaxed and smooth. But when you look at them as, as human beings, when you look at their trials and tribulations that they've gone through, um, the champions that they are off the court is what I really respect a lot. Uh, well, with Leander, we played team tennis for the last two years, and I'm looking forward already to in two weeks that we play together again uh, uh, for the year. It's going to be like fifth title, me only three <laughs> with the Washington Castles, and uh, that's how we came together. And with Sanya, I was uh, you know, only in March uh, this year. Um, yeah, so it's, since then it's been a very a, a great ride for me. I mean, I feel already almost like quarter Indian, you know. <laughs> I think that's the beautiful thing about India is we're such a, 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 a big country with so many different cultures and religions and community and people from all different walks of life. And, and for me, that's what India stands for, is that you've got s a population of 1.3 billion Indians or so um, who all live in, in, in a fairly large landmass. But when you look at that number, we're all living together. If you look at the high rises in Bombay or Bangalore or Chennai, Calcutta, Delhi, um, we're all pretty much getting along with each other. And to see a lot more of that, uh, regardless of our color, race, religion, culture, background, is that we all come together and, and, and uh, be the best that we can be.